by just using a ray of light. This is the new 3D printer which sculptures the object for all at once and make it the one of the first designing at new kind of world. The latest method coming from the UC Binkley and Livermore National Laboratory which called computer axle lithography or simply CAL. It uses a newly technique called volumetric printing. The diamond words which are given by Howard and Taylor. The volumetric printing is a category of advanced manufacturing which was all points inside an object and maintains the outlook or create a pretty much similar object as the opportunity to building a new geometrical figure layer by layer which is how vertically advantageous and manufacturing the process which works today. CIL is a printing smooth complete geometry like those there are no symptoms strategies looking at the edges and which is totally look like a novel another promising that the future of this device is called overprinting which is the thing or an object can be taken and printing the handling this is the technique our advanced manufacturing printers today having the trouble of accumulating and even other liquids the printers like those are called as stratolithography are not considered in the volume and these printings are although the stratolithography are the printers almost use a branch of leases which still print the object layers by layer and showing the pulling of objects out for the selective section with a light in the process called photoflamonization and research the CIL elimination or eliminated this long process since CIL can print the object within a minute surprisingly since it can print all the ones too it's still a very new technology which is CAL computer axle lithography which means the merging of a related rotation to a building up a 3d instant object within fiber structures and this first demonstration of the approach that is originated with the proofs of principle was done in 2017 by a big collaboration between the Lawrence National Lab. The principles of the CT uh, scanners are computed in thermographical scan. Researchers put a result image into a DLP, the digital light processing is the project which for this they pointed the projects at the light surrounding prison. As the volume of material was rotated quickly, the patterns that are being projected into the volume of changing this rays of photons and getting absorbed on the beam of a particular rate. The amount that be absorbed by the light energy and goes into the central those who valves and the recess will be became solid and then so the key part of the whole process recess. It is a synthetic material genetic methylene hydrogel and it made the few compounds liquid polymers, photonysis and other like oxygen. These researches are key to get a room temperature so that oxygen and can be even more active. But when a light was shined into the material, the molecules in the photopolymers became reactive and few things can be happen. And firstly, with the oxygen and became a substance called quinquidize. In the presence of oxygen, before you could be solidification, the thread hole process is the extreme important because of this technology and these rays of light were going through the empty reserves and even in the part that do not having a solidified the crystals in the molecules link it together in a chain to make a solid plastic and within a few minutes the research had a solid small structure to recess is a flexible material because of its malleability and reusability we can possibly consume the sport equipments, tools, lens or other devices. But behind the centimeter scale, the researchers are at now and they need to evaluate the research formula and about the biocomputerization. This is really exciting that actually the object of our ongoing research ignore that the research group successfully used and genetic materials in the process. This is a huge positive signal for us so that while this is a latest and breaking the research it will be possible only going to get a better for her on it.
so how much do you think about the 3d printers do this project excited you let us know down in the comments below and if you like this project don't forget to subscribe to the adop for all material science updates and i'll see you next time